So we are here at Woodlawn Cemetery in Colma, California, which is just about, well, it was supposedly about a 12 minute drive from my Airbnb. I can confirm that it was a little bit of a wacky drive, but I found it. Um, so now I am gonna go try to find Emperor Joshua Norton's grave. Now, for those of you who are not familiar with Emperor Norton, he was the a gentleman who in the 1800s declared himself the Emperor of the United States. He lived in San Francisco um, and he was quite a bit of an odd duck. That's probably putting it nicely. Um, and he basically like made edicts and laws and all kinds of stuff like that. So right now I wanted to visit his grave because I first read about Emperor Norton when I read one of the uh, books, Neil Gaiman. One of his books was about, no, a person in one of his stories was Emperor Joshua Norton. And I was always very fascinated. So um, I'm not 100% sure how I'm gonna find it. I am parked over by the mausoleum. Uh, and from what I can see, it might be a bit of a walk. So we're gonna do our best. I'm gonna see if I can find someone to talk to. I'm hoping like maybe a groundskeeper or something would be helpful and of course because this is a still a working graveyard you have to be respectful and polite and all of that so um yeah we'll see how it goes uh like i said i'm really hoping i can find somebody to tell me where i'm going so uh yeah wish me luck i imagine this is probably pretty respectful because i'm not actually looking at any graves or showing you guys any I'm just showing you the walk up the hill. Now, of course, I probably should have used the restroom before I went to place, but um, one of the neat things about this graveyard is that it is all faiths, meaning anybody can be buried here, regardless of your faith, which I think is pretty freaking cool. Um, it was funny, she was telling me about how some of there's some private mausoleums, because back in the day they had private mausoleums, and I was like, oh yeah, that's pretty cool. Um I've visited a Chinese grave uh, graveyard before where they had the um graves set into the ground. They have those at uh <clears throat> excuse me. They had those at Concordia Cemetery in uh, El Paso, which maybe one day I'll go down there again. It's been a long time. Um, I've also been to a Jewish graveyard. Hello, friend. There's a crow up in that tree. Um, just to give you an idea of the scope, this place is humongous. And then over there is another graveyard, which that looks really cool. So in a minute, I might look up and see if I can visit because today is a day where I'm walking around. I found him. Hello, Emperor Norton. I don't know if I have anything to say to you other than you were a man who believed in what you could with what you had and I find that that's very admirable. Wow, what a nice little quiet place for you. I see what she means now, but went by the two little trees. Whoops. Well, I don't have anything to set down for you, but... Over here we have his empress, I suppose. She died in 2013, wow, that's a long time. And then we have some other emperors and empresses and barons of San Francisco and various places, but hey, you do you, boo-boo. And back over here to him. 
Well, I'd say this adventure was successful. Wouldn't you guys? So I was doing some more reading. And I found out that his empress, you ready for this, is a drag queen. How fucking cool is that? Uh, she was a drag queen named, uh, she, her name was Jose Sari, as you saw on the um, gravestone. <laughs> she was a drag queen, which is why, like, um, all of the, uh, and then I guess all her, uh, all the other gravestones surrounding it are her drag children and or her actual children. Which, as a drag queen myself, drag king myself, drag artist, I find that really freaking awesome and cool. And oh my god, what the heck, man. Um, I did look up about the Italian cemetery. I could go visit it if I wanted to. But <clears throat> I don't think any of my family would be buried there. Most of them came in from uh, New York. New York City, that area. So... I probably won't head over there, but it is still pretty cool that that thing is there. And um, maybe while I'm here in San Francisco, I'll also check out some other uh, cemeteries and stuff. I would like to let everybody know that I have been incredibly respectful. I have not taken pictures of any other graves. I have kept my recordings of only my face or of the emperor and his empress's graves. Um, so yeah, uh, thanks for following me along on this mini San Francisco adventure. And uh, hopefully I'll see y'all soon with some more updates and exciting day at times.